new at 430 from service to sick. Men and women who fought in Iraq and Afghanistan are facing a battle here at home this afternoon. They're facing health problems. Hundreds of thousands of vets, including many right here in our area, say they were exposed to fiery burn pits while they served overseas. NBC 10's Jim Rosenfield looks at just how burning trash on U.S. bases is creating toxic worries. Burn pits were part of daily life for U.S. service members. And so God only knows what is burning in there at this time. Living on bases adjacent to the smoky garbage dumps. Home for almost three million troops deployed to the desert during two wars in the Middle East. I mean, I've seen asbestos in the burn pits. I've seen fuel in the burn pits. I've seen ammunition in the burn pits. Retired Army Lieutenant Dan Brewer was the guy charged with managing the environment at U.S. bases in Iraq and Afghanistan, alarmed at the time by what he saw. I did give recommendations that I did not think uh, burn pits was, was a good solution. I wish I was told by uh, a couple of people that, you know, this is Iraq, this is the U.S., we're here to, you know, kill the bad guys. I said, you know, we may be killing our own people long term. I remember seeing the smoke. Former Army National Guard police officer Cindy Amon of Hokesset served primarily on the Iraq border in the early 2000s. The coughing and the blowing black stuff out of your nose. Once Amon returned home to Delaware, new symptoms started to bother her. There were these points in time I would just be so short of breath. Amon says it got so bad she had to leave her job as a Wilmington police officer and launched a two-year odyssey with VA doctors and outside specialists to figure out what was wrong. The VA was telling me that it was anxiety, um, that they wanted to put me on different medications, and I was like, no, this is physical and we're going to figure this out. Here we go. Finally, she got permission to have a specialist in New York do a biopsy of a portion of her lung. It confirmed something called constrictive bronchiolitis, an incurable lung disease which attacks the small airways. It's rarely seen in otherwise healthy people, but is now showing up in some of the men and women who served in the Middle East wars. Go walk with mommy. Veterans advocates say Cindy Amon's fight for care and coverage illustrates the government's response to burn pits. Congress mandated that the VA create a burn pit registry in 2014, but veterans say it's not user friendly. So far, more than 161,000 Iraq and Afghanistan vets have reported their symptoms on the voluntary registry, a fraction of the nearly 3 million who have served during those wars. It's a case-by-case -case determination at this point. The VA declined to speak with us about disability benefits regarding burn pits. The, the patient breathes naturally. But we did this, get to visit doctors seeing patients complaining lot. of symptoms at the VA's War-Related Illness and Injury Study Center in East Orange, New Jersey. Is it uh, safe to say that exposure to these burn pits was not a good thing for these service members? I, I think absolutely. You know, you don't need to be here at a center of excellence to, to say that. Is it making them sick? It might be. Yeah. In some people, it might be making them sick. Um, I think who is it making sick, how many people is it, is it making sick, and what is the sick, what is the sickness? Those are still questions that we don't have good answers for. At this point, the VA and the Department of Defense are not ready to place all the blame on the pits. Was it the burn pit smoke? Was it the ambient air pollution? For some people, was it a blast exposure? We don't know. Whee! Cindy Amon received benefits based on her burn pit exposure. Now she's fighting for other veterans. They keep saying they need to do more and more and more research. And I'm like, but you've researched this to death, you know, and you're going to keep going in circles. We've come to that point. Now it's time to help the veterans. The VA says as of August, more than 9,600 vets have submitted claims for illnesses they blame on burn pits. Less than a quarter had those claims granted. The Department of Defense declined to speak with us for this story, but in a statement said, quote, when used, open air burn pits are to be operated in a manner that prevents or minimizes risks to human health and safety of DOD personnel and where possible harm to the environment, end quote. And these days, the U.S. military has largely phased out use of these burn pits when possible. They use incinerators, mm -hmm. but that's a costly alternative. Wow, so important to get that awareness out there, especially when you look at the numbers and see a small percentage of those claims are granted. Mm -hmm. Could be affecting millions of veterans from those wars. And we've got more of the story coming up in the next hour. We do indeed. All right, we'll look forward to that.